Mike had written a bunch of New York Times number one bestsellers about the process of life, how to eat right, exercise correctly, live the best life you can. And we can take that and, and put a little bit of edge into it. You make it to have a little bit of attitude so it's cool. And by doing that, it might not be so intimidating for the average reader. And that was the birth of the whole You movement. We work together about 40 hours a week, each of us, and we spend about eight hours on the phone a week. And it actually, at least one hour of that time is laughing because yeah. we really try and bring the humor out because that's a great way of letting people know that great health is fun. So if you look at the books, the, the first book was uh, You the Owner's Manual, and this got folks comfortable with the first two years of medical school. It's a basic foundation of what we learned going through In the fact, process. In fact, Publishers Weekly calls it Biology 101. It is. And then we thought, you know what, let's do a charity work. Let's get a book that actually teaches people how to navigate the healthcare system. And that's You the Smart Patient, a book that's designed, in fact, written with the Joint Commission. They're the healthcare watchdog organization of the country. And then we thought we'd write a book for the number one complaint that all of our readers had, which is their weight. We called it You on a Diet. So you see the you is pretty obvious about you, but look at the hand in there. It's not just a finger pointing at you. We actually have to color in this part here. Our cartoonist, Gary Halgrid, help us make the finger look less intimidating. So it's not, hey, it's your fault, it's hey. And that's the look we want, because it's cool. I and not only that, if you look at the book in all angles, the finger is pointing at you in the same direction. We knew that women would buy the book, but one of the things we didn't know about was about men. So to get men to, to buy the book, we actually put pictures in the books. People think through metaphor. And so we can explain it through analogies or, or tools that allow it to come alive and become interesting for the average listener, viewer, reader, whatever format we reach them in, then we have the message that resonates for them. And if we can keep it authentic, and by that I mean we speak from here. You get a do-over in life. It's not that hard and it doesn't take that long. So you can reverse disease. You can make yourself feel younger and live at the top of the curve.